Okay, Joseph Fine. Uh, Joe Fine is on the line. Uh, I'm in Amsterdam. Where are you at this moment, uh, Joe? Uh, I'm actually. I was in. Uh, I was in the Netherlands uh, this morning in Ada, Amsterdam yesterday. Today yep. I'm in uh, Stockholm, Denmark. All right, flying up and down. Because, uh, as I understood, um, this Friday, September 30, 2011, you'll be back in the Netherlands. That's right. I'll be back on Thursday and doing the Infinite Possibility Masterclass that ceased to meet on Friday. Okay, that seats to meet in uh, Utrecht, okay. uh, and as I understood, you have, you're in contact with uh, Ronald uh, van der Hof uh, from uh, seats to meet and then uh, there's also a Friday afternoon program. What's happening then? Uh, Friday afternoon is actually a press event uh, for Infinite Possibility in concert with our uh, distributors in, the, in the Europe, which is McGraw-Hill, and then with NetSense, which is one of the companies that I highlight in the book. Uh -huh. Actually, there are many Dutch companies, so it's one of the Dutch companies I highlight in the book. Okay, uh, so uh, what, what is the title of your new book, which is released now? now? The new book is Infinite Possibility, Creating Customer Value on the Digital Frontier, uh, co-authored with Kim Korn. Okay, and um, oh, how long ago is it? Be actually, it's now released in the Netherlands, but uh, when was it released in, uh, in the U.S.? Uh, actually, on August 1st, so it's just uh, less than two months old still at this point. Okay, well, and as an author, it's always uh, interesting to see how the reactions are. Uh, how's the, the news so far? Uh, pretty good. It's really pretty good. Uh, we had last week, uh, my partner Tim Gilmore and I hold an annual event every year called Think About, that we move around the U.S. And we have a um, um, uh, number of people from uh, the U.S. and from around the world that come together. And so... The first part of it, I actually gave a presentation on infinite possibility, really went through the concepts in it, the framework in it that, that, that really helps people make sense of, uh, of what digital technology uh, is doing to today's world. And uh, there was one uh, person from the Netherlands there, uh, Ryan Vogelar, uh, who's a super voter guy. Mm -hmm. And so he wrote a great blog post today out on his experiences on the um, uh, Think About and one of the things he said about the ideas that I presented was that it was it was a very complex framework, which which I understand, but also one that was very practical and allowed him to really think about uh, how you could use it to create value for customers. Yeah. Okay. Well, we cannot uh, discuss the entire model, of course. But what's no. uh, <laughs> what you, you got a workshop? We will talk about it later on. Um, uh, but what's what's the uh, the idea behind the model? Well, well, the essence is that you know, in today's experience economy, one of the things that's happening is this explosion of digital technology that uh, consumers are bringing with them into their experiences as well as that companies can use to create these experiences. And there's so much going on and, and done in so many different ways that, that what the, the core framework of the book, which I call the multiverse, does uh, is really help people make sense of it, understand what's going on, categorize what they see so they can say, ah, I know what that is, I know what that is, that makes sense, and then most importantly is then use it to uh, generate ideas for their own business about how they could create value for, for customers. Mm -hmm. And what's it based on, on a more uh, practical side or by consulting for uh, companies? Uh, you know, this, this is one that was based back, actually on just uh, pure blue sky thinking. Uh, it, it comes from uh, a cosmology model of what the, the, the three basic dimensions of the universe are. Mm -hmm. you know, if you ask physicists, they'll tell you it's time, space, and matter. And what I realize is that what digital technology allows you to do is, is flip each one of those on their head. That uh, uh, instead of just being able to create experiences out of matter, out of material substances, out of atoms, you can use bits. Right? And that's what digital technology is. It's, it's digital substances. Instead of creating experiences just in, uh, in, in, in normal space and in real places, you can create experiences in virtual places, right? the, the exact opposite. And instead of being tethered by time and having to follow uh, actual time as it unspools before us moment by moment, you can, you can go autonomous to that. You can play with time. You can go into the past. You can go into the future. You can hyperlink it together as you can and do things asynchronously like we can on the Internet. And so what that does is it means instead of uh, being limited by time, space, and matter, instead of thinking them as constraints in our business, we can now uh, have not just those three variables, but six experience design variables that we can play with and that we can figure out. And you know, so, so we, we can use atoms and or bits, material and or digital substances. We can use real and or virtual places, and we can use um, actual events or autonomous events in our experience design, and that opens up you know entire new realms of experience 
that uh, that really does uh, allow us to, to create a customer value that, that's never before been imagined, uh, engendered, or, or encountered. Mm -hmm. Well, th that's the idea in a nutshell. Um, if our viewers want to know more, well, one, they could buy the book. Um, please, please. <laughs> just <laughs> go for it. Infinite possibility. Uh, but they could also join you uh, at the end of October and, and also the first day of November. It's a two-day workshop. Um, how, how, what, what can we imagine with this workshop? How does it work for these uh, two uh, days? Well, what, the, what the workshop does is the first half day is a, is, is a true immersion in the multiverse. I'll give a talk on it. Uh, I show you a number of different examples, show you principles of how it works, uh, a lot of videos and that, and then also let you experience for yourself. You know, bring in uh, examples like uh, uh, a layer and uh, a Lego design by me and, and other things where you can uh, experience each of these different realms. And then the second half day will begin to go methodically through each realm. How do you generate ideas? Uh, for your business using augmented reality? How do you generate ideas using augmented virtuality, right? The complete opposite. How do you use alternate reality or mirrored virtuality, all these different realms that we've defined in, in the multiverse, uh, and then begin to refine those down and come up with some of the best ideas. And then we have another way of looking at it, which actually gets rid of the realms, gets rid of the, the boxes and the confines, even about something where you think about as augmented reality. You know, what does that really mean? Well, let's, let's explode that and just think about how you use these six design variables to create a great experience. So it truly is uh, being able to incorporate all of them and get rid of all of the, the boundaries, uh, because that's where I believe the, the most value is, in fact, going to be created. And then, you know, during that second day, we'll refine those ideas down. I'll, I'll talk about uh, with my co-author, Kim Korn, again, with, uh, who will join me in the, in the two-day workshop. Uh, talk about uh, experience design principles and how you use them to create an, an even better experience for your customers. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, uh, if you're viewing this uh, this video clip, uh, feel free to check out uh, on the website of Seats to Meet in uh, in Utrecht, and maybe you'd like to join the, the workshop on October uh, 31 and November 1st. Um, but you will be also here in the Netherlands this Friday, uh, September 30th. All the best over there in, in Denmark. Thanks for your time, and uh, we're going to check out the book anyway. Thanks. Thank you, Richard. I appreciate it. Later on.